Welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is kind of what I've got for dinner tonight. Not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but uh, we'll see. This is how they sell kale in Holland. They make it with like mashed potatoes. So I think I'm going to do that. I'll show you guys how to do that. It is freaking del delicious. Especially with sweet potatoes, even better. Um, I just like having lots of colours. That's my general rule of thumb. A couple of greens. And I've got the seaweed as well, just because I'm having fish and I love seaweed. And it's really, really good for you. Especially if you have type O blood. And then coconut oil is my favourite oil. Because it has pretty much no flavour. And it cooks at a pretty high temperature. And it's really healthy. So I'm going to get going and then I'll show you my steps. Alright, we've got things moving now. So I've got my red onions in there, kind of just frying up, so I don't like them raw. Oh, that's hot. There's my sweet potatoes, and I didn't put a lot of water in there to start with. That's the Dutch trick. You really don't want to go even like halfway with your water, because the steam will stick over and cook potatoes faster. Crazy but true. Also, don't cook your kale with the potatoes. Because kale is some kind of magical vegetable that steals all the heat out. So you cook potatoes first and then add kale. And to this uh, mushroom mix, I've chopped up the stem of my broccoli. I've kind of peeled off the tough bits on the edge. I don't like those bits. You can't even them. Yuck. So I cut up the broccoli stem. And I've got these like bits of garlic chopped up here. I'm going to add those to my, mushroom, my, my mushrooms, my uh, onions in a second. And I've also got this farmer's bacon in Holland. It comes in pre-cut blocks, which is amazing. I'm going to actually add this right now. And true story, pro tip, if you are stalled on your weight, even though you're eating paleo, you might be having portions of meat that are too big. So what I do to combat that, because I want to eat all the meat, I, um, I buy really expensive meat. So this is like super expensive bacon. As you can see, I only used half of it last time and I use the second half now. But you don't need a lot to make the flavour go that far, you know? Especially when it's cut into these little tiny blocks. Okay, well, it's getting noisy, so I'll uh, get back when it's kind of getting ready. Alright, so I added my kale here because it was pre-chopped. So, what is? Still works. Then I'll turn that off for now. And then in here I've got some broccoli. I have this tiny tiny pot so I can't fit all my broccoli, which sucks. But I'll save the rest and make some baby food with it in a bit. So next I'm going to make the broccoli salad. I'm going to use a bit of raw onion with my cooked broccoli. These capskins, probably half of each. And then um, some spices, which I'll show you in a bit. Spices that go with this really well are um, rosemary, it's always delicious in this sort of meal, and salt, of course, and pepper, and you know, you can keep it really basic and make it delicious. Um, the Dutch, they usually make it with like way more mashed potato, <laughs> but I, I like vegetables more than carbs, so I've only got a little, actually, see this, that's not that much, I have tiny hands. But that's still going to be enough for me and my husband, and I'll cook the fish after that, and you'll see that too. So this is my salad sauce. It is literally just cut up shallots, a half tablespoon of olive oil, and a half tablespoon of vinegar, and a bit of salt. I smell my vinegar. Oh, that's my arm. So it's not very much, but when you kind of spread it like this. It is also really nice, which I don't think I have. Is that sesame seeds or sesame oil? Um, yeah, you can say it's not paleo, but I think it is. You can get oil out of the seed pretty easily if you smash it hard enough. Anyway, and a little tiny bit of it will just give it a kick that makes it taste quite special. And I just put my these are very cold now. So if you prepare in advance, you can just have them straight out of the fridge. Or you can do what I do and just run a little tiny bit of cold water and it'll cool down pretty quick. And then I'll put my capsicums on and my seaweed, I think. I might put that on my fish. Not sure yet. 
So, I've just realized my husband's not coming home for dinner. This is a huge dinner for one and one baby, but we'll somehow save it. It'll be fine. So now I'm just heating up some butter. I can't really see that, but I've just used the same pan as before. I'm a very much one pot, one pan girl. And this is literally taking me like 15 minutes, including filming time. So if I was doing this without showing you guys, it would probably take me 10. Hopefully it's hot enough. Let's just test it. No, not yet. Put that over here now. It's my fish. This is called Kabuyao in Dutch, or Kabuyao. I don't know what it's called in English, I'm going to look that up for you. <clears throat> but it's just a plain white fish. It's really quite delicious, I find. Sometimes some fishes, that, especially the Dutch known fishes like herring, have a pretty strong flavour, but this one is just a fish. Just a fish. And that's all it is. Well, that butt is warm enough now, so I'm going to put this in the pan. And it really just doesn't take very long to put fish, guys. And you don't have to put flour on it. I know, right? Just a bit of butter makes it taste amazing. You can put some salt and pepper on it, or lemon juice on the top here, or like you can get some fish herbs, like dill. But you don't have to. You can just squeeze a bit of lemon over it later. That's what I do, because I'm lazy. So, uh, yeah, that's my dinner. I'm going to flip this over in a couple of minutes, and then I'll just uh, show you a picture of its goodness. Yep, that's hot. Careful. Lorelai, do you want a lemon? No, that's it. Oh, you want some fish? Yeah. Alright. Well, as you can see, guys, we're ready to eat. Lorelai's not going to do her lemon thing. Are you sure you don't want your lemon? It's yummy. No. No, you just want the fish. Yeah. That's my paleo baby. Da, 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 da. Alright. Uh, bon appetit. This is how to eat broccoli. What's this? Broccoli. Can you say broccoli? Yum.